This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with worldwide financial planning, Truro and Penwith College, and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. You can tell us a few bits about what's going on. I mean, obviously, the Root Partnership um, is one of the discussions going on. There, I know this meetings are still ongoing. When do you think we'll get some results from the, that? The uh, you know, Cornwall Council Cabinet meeting today. Uh, so that that's in progress as we speak. Yeah. And uh, we probably won't hear anything from the result of that meeting until either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. But that won't be the end of the issue. The, the issue will be really whether the ministry release the government releases the money that we need to actually and this is the extra five million that, that, that's in the meeting well, today. Well, the, the, the five million that Cornwall Council are talking about uh, will be decided today by them. I mean, they've been very generous and very supportive right the way through. Fantastic! Yeah. And they're, they're looking at the um, at the savings that the government want to create. They, they've already put ten million pound in. Uh, they're putting an additional five million pound in, which is what the cabinet are deciding today, and, and that will reduce the government borrowing and. That's about as far as the whole partnership thing can go, as far as we know. So it's, it's too early yet to make any further statement on that regard. I oh, know, I but, appreciate but, that, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm an optimist at heart, and, and you know, I, I do take a little bit of uh, support, really, from the amount of effort the Cornwall Council have put into this. And um, it, it's just up to the Ministry now uh, that... They just need to actually bite the bullet and, and give us the money that we require to actually put option A into practice. And, and that would really be a big plus for the uh, communications and, and the transport to and from the island. And it would also be nice for you to see, obviously, uh, previously uh, you were MD of the steamship company, was that right? I was chairman of MD for, yeah, uh, from sort of 96 through till 2001. So it'd be quite nice for you as a Salonian as well, let's not forget that, you are yeah. a born and bred Salonian, um, to actually see it develop and, and move further forward well it, it you know as a Salonian you you got an inbuilt desire to see the best that possible result for whatever element we're discussing within the islands and certainly from the sea service I mean our Salonian 3 has served the community extremely well over the 33 years she's been in service but with an ageing ship uh, the machinery and everything starts to become more expensive to maintain and they become uneconomic to run which is why we're looking at a look at a replacement so uh, each of our ships have been individually built for the islands. They've been built to take the ground, um, which is unusual for ships. Uh, <laughs> we were talking, actually, when it had a refit about 10 years ago in Devonport. Yeah, we took her to 1999-2000. We took her to Devonport. She went into the... Uh, into the um, Docks there for a refurb, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, into one of the big destroyer sheds. And uh, the staff up there that were working on her, I mean, she was shot blasted from end to end, brought back right to bright metal and then repainted. But they were absolutely amazed. They had to cut a hole in the side of her to remove some of the uh, water purifying equipment that's on board. And uh, they were just amazed how strongly, how sturdily she was built. They fell in love with her. She was a beautiful ship. She looked like a pup alongside... <laughs> <laughs> the destroyers in in the uh, in the yard there, but uh, but a strong pup. She is a little beaut, yeah, and and really the replacement needs to be of a similar quality. Fantastic. Well, okay. Well, we'll look forward to hearing the results on that anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll be quite happy. I'll be delighted actually to come and report a positive result on that. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it it you know I mean bit of a bit of a long waiting game and you know you, you you could get frustrated if you allowed it to frustrate you but i keep thinking positive and that's looking news. forward to a really good outcome